All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. My name is Stella. And today we are going to be watching all of the openings to Hunter Hunter. So we are continuing our epic anime opening journey, uh, reaction journey. Um, we've been, we've watched like a lot of the openings to a lot of anime and I know I'm going to say that and then everybody in the comments is going to be like, well, you haven't watched these million anime, but it feels like we've watched a lot of the openings to a lot of anime. Um, so today we're going to be watching Hunter Hunter. I have heard very good things about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to watch this anime uh, at some point. I'm not really sure when though. So, so let us know if you guys would like to see that. I think it's kind of, kind of your standard shonen, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to just get into this and, and see where it all goes. All right, on to opening one. All right, three, two, one, go. Uh oh, wait. Hold <laughs> on. I messed up. Just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. All right. The apocalypse. Whoa. Oh, okay, it's a sunrise. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this song is awesome. Like the there's some synth going 110%. on. Hundred and ten percent. Oh yeah. This gives me '80s vibes. I like this. The song. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That guy's just late to work. <laughs> <laughs> I like his glasses. <gasps> you can okay. smile again. Oh, what a cute message. I recognize a lot of these characters. Oh, really? I've never seen any yeah. of these people. Whoa. The blonde kid and the guy with the glasses, for sure. Oh. Oh. Whoa. What He the? really is just trying to get to work and having a terrible <laughs> time. This is cool. Ooh. Ooh. I've seen him before. I know him. You have. I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That um, was definitely I, an anime. <laughs> that was. I Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know who the main character is. I think it's a toss-up. They love their, their two boys. Anime loves having just two male protagonists, best friend, like whatever. And I, I think it's, I do think it's the blonde kid. I may have seen the first episode of this, but I don't know oh, really? about it. So I, 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 I yeah. might have. It's, 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 a, an, a, I'm not sure if they're doing this. I know it's a pretty um, common shonen uh storyline to have like oh the two guys who are friends but also like rivals and they're going to aggressively strive to beat one another at everything yeah um yeah. so that could be the case here i i'm very interested i really liked the song actually um it, the just, song was I, really it had cool vibes it was kind of upbeat but it it wasn't like your standard anime thing it was definitely kind of its own thing um, and it feels like the anime is a little bit that, too. I like how we're dealing with a small group right now. You know, a lot of times yeah. a lot of these anime openings, there's like a million people. <laughs> and it's like, oh, here's your group of 500 people. And yep. right now we have like four. And I think that's yeah. cool. I kind of like that we're at least starting small. And I, I like the hints of the world that we're getting. Um, yeah. And the villains Well, like you cool. have a sense of the characters. And you can tell right away who's the villains. And there's the guy who's late for work. We're going to call him Workman. <laughs> Um, because, but he like seems like he's been swept up. Yeah, I, I don't know what the story is yet. That's one of the most interesting. All we saw was a giant fish. Like, like you know, yeah. a lot of these other anime openings is like, all right, magic, fantasy. Like, I have no idea what like and like Hunter Hunter. I, I don't. What are we hunting? Know exactly fish. what fish that hunter. is. Like, are we hunting <laughs> fish hunter? It's like a bad <laughs> translation. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Um, so I'm very intrigued, and I, I kind of want to just get on to opening two. Go. Okay. Now, I've seen JoJo's opening, so I'm not falling for this. Okay. Yeah, it's different. This is definitely different. I psych myself out and think things are different that are... Oh, no, this is way different. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's the same song, but it's more about our, our two homies. The world is, like, super interesting. Okay. More characters. Got the classic glasses shine. Uh, that's our villain. Oh, these all villains? Oh, my gosh. Those you look know creepy. what? The, I think they, they heard us say, oh, there's not that many characters. <laughs> and it said, you, you want to see a ton of characters? <laughs> 
They were so creepy, though. Did you see the okay. lady with the lip staff? I did, yeah. That was weird. This is the same. This is yeah, the this same. Is. I don't know what to think of that guy. Does he just play cards? <laughs> I don't know. He seems like a Joker-type character. Maybe the funny villain as opposed to the super villain, like main antagonist. Yeah. I don't know. I got it. We got a tiny glimpse of the world. I just, I, or at least for me, I saw there, there was like a building like a big building and it looked kind of like futuristic and then there was like some airships and stuff so yeah like blimps which was weird yeah maybe not like steampunk but maybe some sort of kind of like mix uh of like time periods uh, something mm. like that i did like i think you were totally right about the two boys like the blonde haired boy and the green haired boy black uh yeah he's in green green, green. Um, yeah and they seem like they're like best buddies they actually don't even seem like they're competing they seem like they're just best buddies and yeah they, they fun designs too like definitely a yeah. fun look it's not necessarily super serious or dark looking the character designs are kind of cutesy somewhat um it's not like basic though either like i no, actually kind of i think it's inventive on to opening three all right here we go nuclear holocaust again <laughs> okay this is the exact same this is exactly the same. I mean, look, I I'm like curious. the song, so. I'm curious about the, the blonde kid, because he doesn't seem to be a part of the, the duo, so he's a bit of oh, a, a loner. True. What's his role in the story, I wonder? This is, yeah. Okay. No, let's give it a chance. This guy looks like a librarian. Like, like, maybe he, like, knows some lore or something. Like, he has. Yeah. He's our brainy boy, resident brainy boy. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking for like, like, wh where is this going to go different? Is there like a, whoa. Okay. 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 More, okay. We're more. getting all the villains. Oh no, she's not a villain. Yeah, we're not, I'm not sure about, they're all villains. Okay. Oh, well, that was cool. I like seeing more of the characters. Yeah. Yeah, but this, this like, uh, card, playing card guy is, is really it's clearly the big antagonist he's, yeah. yeah he's not a part of it. it's it's kind of cool because it actually seems like um and maybe i'm totally wrong but this is just my theory is that it seems like every opening they changed it to account for like the new members of either just the anime like the new characters yeah. or like the new members of the squad which i think is really cool and i'm not sure if they're doing that but i kind of got that feeling especially because like we were saying earlier, like we've seen a lot of anime openings and a lot of times they just like throw all of the characters at you and you're like, whoa, what is happening? Which, you know, when you're watching the when you're watching the opening in the context of the show or, or even now isn't a huge deal. But I, it's almost doesn't it seem like kind of they did that. I don't know. Yeah, no, it seems like they're adding like I just adding in new it, it's everything's the same. But the only the only departures from the, the like previous opening are the new characters. So yeah, which I think, I think is cool. Changing. I actually like that. Um, so it seems like we expanded maybe our good guys because I recognized a few of them. There was like the girl with the glasses and like a giant vacuum cleaner. I know her <laughs> and I think she's good. So maybe a lot of those people aren't villains. And I really liked the designs. They're very, uh, I don't know, they're very different. There's somebody with just like yeah, hair unique. and you can just see their one eye. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> like They're almost like a little horror or something like that. Um, but at the same time, it also kind of was the same opening. So I'm curious to see where opening four goes. Is it all just, they're all called departures. So are they all the same? I'm wondering Maybe all too, of the openings. I don't know how many same. seasons of the show there are. Like, are these all? Part I think it's of... pretty long, actually. Really? Okay. Fairly. I mean, it. You know, I don't know if in comparison to other anime, but I got the impression it's a fairly long anime. Yeah. So, I mean, look, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'd actually be curious if it's the same song for for everyone. So, I guess on to opening four. Okay. This is the same song, but we have it a is different indeed. guy. And new new logo. This is version. super cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. Look at her She's go. cool. That was really cool animation. I actually like that we're keeping the song. I think that's cool. Yeah. Ooh, like cards. Pokemon cards. I shouldn't say they're <laughs> Pokemon cards. They could be, they're literally anything else, but. That was the first thing I thought, too. I just didn't want to yeah. say it. Whoa. We're training in the Grand Canyon or something? Who is, Who is she? this? Yeah, she's just watching us. Okay. Whoa. 
Whoa, we're going oh, we're really, here. we have a lot more magical abil abilities than we had last yeah. time. Wait, is he Is he on this? our side? This what? whole time we pegged him as a villain. I feel terrible. <laughs> we're so, we're so judgmental. <laughs> is she like... Oh, what is that? What is that? I don't know. If she, I feel like she's like, maybe like she's related to the c playing card guy. I don't know. They both seem to have kind of like clown jestery aesthetics to them. I have it. I, I think know. he still was bad. I don't think we were wrong. I think he was bad and he's now working with us. I don't now think he's good. working with us. Yeah, I'm mistaken. Maybe maybe he's a bit of a gray character. The girl, I don't know. It was weird because she almost seemed like she was like, it, okay, I know it isn't this, but it almost reminded me of like a little sister watching her brother's play or something. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> like she was just no, kind of like, hey guys, what's very up? Very innocent. Um, um, but she seems yeah. really cool. I, I actually have to say, I really like the animation in these openings and I'm not sure, it's hard to tell actually whether um, they're taking it from the anime or they're just, a lot of it is for the opening itself. Uh, mm -hmm. but I do, I actually think like the action and stuff like that has been animated very yeah. smoothly. It's, it's like this. Okay. Am I crazy for thinking it's almost like sci-fi, like some of the goggles and stuff. And then there's a shot of all these like weird blimps. It almost reminds me, it's probably not like fully sci-fi, but it almost reminds me of like kind of that like sci-fi eighties. But then, then there's magic every once in a while. And that kind of shatters that for me. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't know. You're right. It's so, it is hard to tell. Is it magic or is it just abilities? I don't know what what's the ability when you when you say abilities you mean like well it's like okay like magic like all right I'm gonna do a spell or I like have a special oh. book like in black Clover no like or a, something like a superpower whereas say. this it seems okay. almost like a superpower yeah 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 he shot and lightning out of his hands I don't know how much more <laughs> magical one can get <laughs> the guy with the Pokemon cards that yes maybe could be other cards but we're gonna call it the guy with the Pokemon I think he's the villain that's my theory uh, because we ended we ended on the shot of the book with all the cards hmm. all over the place. And yep. I feel like, I don't know, I, maybe he's like the big bat. Also, there's a ring on the table in the final shot. And I'm pretty sure the jester guy was wearing that ring. Um, yeah. Which I'm saying, I'm saying that like it proves something. And I don't don't have anything that it proves. I just noticed that. And I think maybe that means something. The fact that it's set out on the table with the candle, this weird pendant necklace thing. I think there's definitely some magic at play. All right. Well, on that note, on to opening five. Oh, ocean. What the heck? Bug man? I, that was, that bug, was so creepy. Right? Okay. Yeah, bug man. That guy's got like a scorpion tail. Space bug man boy. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Oh. Maybe like their oh, dad or something? Maybe he's got funky oh. eyes. A beetle. Oh, interesting. Ew. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. No, I don't think that's their dad. I think it's another, maybe a villain. Oh, what Bug the heck? Army. <laughs> this, this is like changed. dark, dude. This is nothing like what it was a second ago. Elvis. <laughs> There's always an Elvis in these openings. These Whoa, are bad what guys, the heck? For sure. Oh, we saw him before, though. Yeah, he's he's been here. Oh, wait, this is kind what? Of cool. Who are these people? I don't. What the? Oh, that's the guy. Okay. What the? The stakes have been raised significantly. Yeah, I this feel is, like this it. is. I it got. There's a lot more all of a sudden. It, we're facing like. A bug. Did you see this just marching army with flames? Yeah, I was the like, bug oh army. My God. <laughs> and then the lovely departure song, like, da 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 da, like playing in the background. <laughs> as they're like marching to the apocalypse. I was like, oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, and just like the framing of the, the planet, like, it feels like the stakes are a lot more planetary now, which is was not the case before. There was the girl with the tail, and that cat, looked cat like a bug girl. tail. Yeah, that was yeah. A, that was a different kind of tail. And then there was the butterfly man. Yeah, yeah. And there was like the red guy with the red. Where is that who you're talking about? I don't know. Yeah, anyway. angel boy. Um. So I don't. At first, I was like, oh, I got it. It's just the bug people. And then it was just like, oh, there's just a ton of combined people. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like maybe we're facing a cross species army. 
Um, because there was like the ending there too with the planet and then the just giant eyes was very ominous and it makes me yeah. feel like there's like a huge big baddie that maybe we haven't seen yet. But they also feel kind of like know. intergalactic. Like they feel like aliens. That's what I'm telling you, dude. I get weird sci-fi vibes from this every once in a while. Even the title yeah. card but it felt very like yeah, you know, Doctor little, like, Who. Light speed, Doctor Who. I yep. don't know, something like that. So I, 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 we have one more opening, and we'll see. We will, we will pull together a theory, however crazy it may be. <laughs> we will have a theory. So on to opening six. <gasps> I have a theory already, but I'll we'll finish it till the end. It's a terrible right, theory. Right. No, 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 no. Save it till the end. Go. Okay. Oh, a lot this darker. Is very ominous. Oh, I'm. Yeah. Oh, that's that same guy. Okay. Ooh. There are buggy I really people. love these character I just, uh, Oh, they're, whoa! What yeah, they're the very. Heck? Whoa, XX. Oh, like Hunter, Hunter, yeah. Hunter. Okay. Oh, uh, a baby. <laughs> Angry phone calls. Ooh, who is that? Businessman. I like how you just keep labeling them. Because it helps me or can organize my ooh, thoughts. Ooh, what was that? What was that? There was like a dead... Oh, my... Ooh, some spookalicious stuff is happening. What's with the all the creepy bowl? clown imagery, too? <laughs> that was that was straight up the trench bowl from Matilda yeah. a second ago. Yeah. Okay. And who's this, uh, this girl? I don't... What... Who's this what? kid? Oh, is this what? her main kid? But old and with stubble? When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> he was like 10 a second ago. What? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Puberty can also be interpreted as an intergalactic threat. <laughs> <laughs> the entire thing is just an analogy. Let's hope not. Oh, uh, my gosh. All right. I want to hear your theory. Okay, so here's my theory. So, okay, okay, okay. Right, right. So they're hunters, right? Okay, so they're hunters. What are <laughs> okay. they hunting? I would assume animals, right? Animals and bugs and fishes, and they're catching fishes. But over Great. the course, they, they they overdo it, and they get rid of the animal population. And then the animals from space come in, and they're like, you killed all the planet Earth animals, and we're going to enact our vengeance. <laughs> and then there's like some weird, I don't know, some weird um, uh, nuclear stuff happens, and then the animals and the humans get fused, which is where we get the, the cat girl and, and angel boy and the... Um, um, that ending was so much more tame than where my brain went. You were like, all the animals died. So then I was like, so then they just, the animals and people started making animals. No, that was, that was, like, that was my, what? that was where I was going, but I stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> so we have cat, cat, human hybrids. And okay. Well, that's back. horrifying. Um, I hope that's and, not the point. Oh, it could be like an environmental <laughs> message <No>. of like, <laughs> stop. No, no. I think that our main guy has a sister who was dead yep. and came back to life. Oh, oh. Because we had the creepy like horror thing. Didn't you see that with the creepy horror? Yeah, eyes? with her face, her creepy face. And, and he like fun. grabbed or there was like a shot of his hand grabbing like a dead or what looks like a limp arm or something. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see that. I think that he raised his sister back from the dead. Oh. From. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's all I have. That's it. I don't know. Um, From what do you think overall? What, people. what do you think of the? What do you think of? What do you think? You know, there's six openings. Oh, what, what do you think of the show? Are you interested? What, what's your overall? I'm thoughts? very interested. I'm I'm super interested, and I, it's it's almost funnier to me that I I'm pretty sure that I had a friend show me the first episode. Okay. And it's funny to me because I truly <laughs> have no recollection of it. I know that it <laughs> happened. I know I was there. But this gave me nothing. I was like, maybe I'll watch it and I'll be like, oh, I remember that and this thing. And no, <laughs> not at all. So yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's would be super interested. It seems fun. It seems like it goes in a lot of fun directions. And like, what more do you want out of an anime? Yeah. And, and, and I mean, I know I keep going back to the the like character designs and stuff. But to me, that's that's always something that I, that's something I like about anime is like, oh, this is going to be a Viking anime. This is going to whatever. I, I think that's cool. <laughs> like a lot of the like setting and the aesthetic uh, is very cool, um, especially because you have some of these more like uh, standard tropes and stuff like that. I think that seeing the way those things play out in a different setting uh, or a different time period is really cool. And I think they just do such a good job of that. And I'm really interested 
in this because I don't think I've quite seen anything like it. This seems kind of like in the vein of standard shonen, but but the the the, the character designs and the aesthetic. I keep going back to 80s, but regardless, it's it's just unlike anything I've ever seen in any of those kind of like larger anime, and I really like that. It seems very unique and, and kind of clever. I don't know. There's some very just weird, interesting kind of unique character designs and aesthetic stuff, and so, yeah, I don't know. And the, I like the song. The song's a bop. Yeah. So I'm I'm definitely intrigued, but let us know what you guys think in the comments. Let us know if you guys want us to watch Hunter Hunter. And then, yeah, I guess just tell us what other openings you guys want us to, or endings, or endings. Let us know what other openings or endings you guys want us to react to. And all that being said, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.